We got a package. We got a package. Oh. Welcome back to the Lake Life Family Channel, y'all. I am Justin Rackley, otherwise known as the Lake Fork Guy, LFG. Um, this is our family channel. This is me, Stephanie, and Emmy's family channel. This is stuff, you know, when I'm back here on the, on the weekends or whatever, just hanging out at the house. So I want to thank you for joining us and thank you for subscribing. First thing we're going to do today is open up this little package here. Got some treats for the chickens, but the big one, the big thing we're doing today is we are completing a duck house. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, we got this duck. We really got it for Emmy and Stephanie. It was so cute. You know, we went in to, to the farm store and there it was just waddling around. And I mean, how could you say no? We thought it was going to be a hen just automatically. I don't know. Like, oh man, that's really cool. They were talking about these hens laying 300 eggs a year. Like, wow, sweet. They're gonna be so good for baking and all this business. Then all of a sudden, testosterone kicked in. We turned out, turns out we got a male duck on our hands. So I was like, man, I don't know what to do with a with a male duck. What am I gonna do? And it doesn't really sleep with the other chickens. And nah, nah, nah. we're gonna update you on the sleeping situation. But the thing that made me want to keep the duck was Emmy. She walked up to it one day. She gave it a hug. How could I get rid of it? We got a lot of little ponds around here. We got neighbors and stuff. I was gonna like, you know, hey, you want a duck or whatever? Can't do it anymore, y'all. Emmy has claimed it as her own. I mean, she walks outside and says, duck, duck. Melts my heart, melts my heart. So um, we now have to train the duck to sleep by itself. You know, it thinks it's a chicken. But the main thing we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna complete that whole situation. We're gonna give it a house. I've taken scrap wood. This is a hundred percent right here from, uh, well, we'll say 98% of what I got out of a crate that I got my uh, African uh, mounts out of. So I took that, that crate apart and I was left with some scrap wood and uh, it had some like, you know, African two by fours, um, whatever kind of else, kind of wood. I don't even know what kind of species of wood it is. Um, but there's some plywood in there there's some other wood and we created a little house out of it. So I put this together in honestly about 30 minutes. It's loosely constructed, we'll say. And I built it to be a A-frame style dimensions for everyone that's curious, 38 inches wide, eh, 26 inches tall. Very simple base construction. Uh, this was just some of the framing wood that was uh, part of the crate and I just put that on its skinny side, I'm not gonna get too technical here. That wasn't tall enough, so I added uh, a little bit of scrap wood I had just to kind of keep it off the ground. And we attached part of the crate. Hey, look, there's my name right there. We attached part of the crate down here uh, to create the, you know, the base of it. And it was pretty simple after that. I just took a, um, a saw and just sawed off some sides, added some mesh screening for some vent flow. And ducks don't need quite the habitat as the chickens do. You know, chickens really like to perch. Uh, ducks, they kind of just, they'll sleep on the ground. They'll sleep around the grass, whatnot. They, the water doesn't bother them nearly as much. So we have the top little section, vent flow, and then this we're gonna leave open. That's just gonna be open air. So it's gonna be really easy to clean, come in there with a little sweep situation, just sweep it on out and we're good to go. It's sort of like a little Whataburger, you know what I'm saying? I actually thought about painting it white and orange and calling it the Water Duck Hut for all my Texas people out there loving that Whataburger. Then I was like, you know what? Yeah, we'll make it, make it match the tree house. I have leftover wood that matches this, that stained cedar. And then I got to thinking, well, it's still gonna leak a little bit if I just put those planks on the outside. And then I was like, wait a minute. Show me that dude on the TV screen. It's always talking about, you can seal anything. Well, I got me some of that. I've had this in the garage, been waiting to do home projects with it and whatnot. The Flex Seal, ladies and gentlemen. This stuff is uh, supposedly the real deal. Seals cracks up to a quarter inch. I've got clear and I've got black, and I was going to seal the outside of this uh, Whataburger, uh, or I'm sorry, Water Duck Duck Hut with that and then add the planks on top of it. So then we have a waterproof layer. It's essentially like adding like a tar roofing. I don't know if they actually use tar anymore, but you know what I'm saying? Before we put the roof tiles on, it's kind of like that layer that really makes it uh, waterproof underneath. I'm not in construction. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going with the flow here, trying to use some common sense. And that made sense to me. So Emmy is taking a nap right now. Steph is by her side, napping in peace, hopefully as well. But you know, dad, dad's gotta be out here working. 
working on that stuff all the time, keeping the ladies happy. That's what we do. I think I've got some new, uh, some new treats. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I ordered this big of a bag, but this is a giant bag of mealworms. I will tell you, if you want to get your chickens and your ducks or whatever to like you a little bit more, you want to get them kind of trained to I'll be more open to you handling them and whatnot, mealworms seem to do the trick. They'll come right up to you. You know, at first, my duck wouldn't come near me. I started shaking this bag around. I mean, he's already getting excited right now. They'll eat right out of your hands eventually when you start feeding them these. So, you know, I like to do that as a, as a practice uh, once a day, at least a few times a week, just so that they get used to me handling them. That way, when I let them out here, when they're free ranging in the yard, eating the ticks, bugs, and doing all that great stuff, I don't have to really chase them down as much. I really have to wrangle them right now, but I'm trying to get them used to me picking them up like the other hens. The, the other hens, they just know, hey, he's coming. He's coming to get me. So they just give up. Uh, and strangely, the barred rocks, like the two most, I would say, common, most um, used egg layers, the red chickens and the barred rocks, they're, they're like the most, it's like they're naturally just used to being, I don't know, they'll, they'll, they'll let you handle them. So the other ones, Easter eggers, whew, they're just like wild raptors, you know? They just run away from you, but they're getting better because of the mealworms. Where's my duck at? So we had a really big rain come in here last night, washed a lot of the dirt out. I, I mean, it, it literally rained all day. You already know, look at her getting in the back. How rude of you, how rude of you. So this is Penny. This is Penny right here, that's Peggy. Penny will literally just, when she hears this bag shaking, if she's out of the yard or on the outer rim, she will just come run, literally run, when she hears that bag. I know, y'all, I know. Don't be mean, don't be mean, Penny. So, I just like to throw this out on the ground, get them used to eating those mealworms. I mean, they absolutely love them. And then I'm able to, I'm able to touch them and you know, basically like get them used to be handling them while they're just devouring this feed and they're, and they're eating it out of my hand. So I just, it's just gonna help later on when I need to pick them up. It's just really helpful. So I can never really have enough mealworms around the chicken coop. So pecking order still being established, but we're getting better week by week. But the big revelation that has happened recently is they are all sleeping in the coop together. At night, it seems like they just they get into a different mindset, a different mode. They're really settling in. They're a lot easier to handle. You can walk up to them, pick them up. You can place them on the roost inside of the coop. There's been a lot of big stuff happening. And the duck sleeps on its own. It kind of just sleeps on the outside of the coop. And I thought, well, I'll just build him a little, you know, A-frame house and he'll have uh, his himself a little house too. Sleep next to his, his little hen sisters. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the Flex Seal. Disclaimer, I've never used Flex Seal before. It says that it totally cures in 24 hours, but you know, we got a warm day, windy. I'm just gonna let it sit out here for like, you know, an hour or two in the sun, and then I'm gonna cut my boards and put them on top of it, maybe while it's still a little gooey, um, because this is just gonna act as a waterproof layer. And then uh, I guess you could just use this, but that would be kind of, Ugly. I don't think Seth would let me do that. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a mask on just to be safe. Right, here we go. <sighs> One full can. Flex seal was just enough to get all the sides. Probably needs a little extra layer, honestly. I think it's gonna do what I want it to do. It's gonna repel the water that's underneath the boards, which are stained. So they're stained with a water, water repelling material as well. The only part that isn't really covered is this crack right here, but I'm gonna take some boards on top of the other base layer and just do a little like, you know, angled cut, a little miter cut. So it comes to a point you know what I'm saying? By the way, wanted to build this big enough for two ducks. And I think this is appropriate. Ducks are tall, you know? So this thing, when you go up inside of here, it's got over two feet of clearance. You got your breathability going on. 
This is all because of a hug, ladies and gentlemen. All because of a hug from a 20-month child that touched my heart. So this is why this is why dads stay up at night and build things is because of these situations. And that's what I'm caught in. Okay. Steph is going to show you all something here in a minute while this is uh, while this is drying. I just wanted to briefly show you uh, the the driveway is basically done. I need to, I need a little bit larger rock to go back here, but. Uh, while I was doing that, I put in these little side railroad ties. Uh, we're going to be using this space. Steph's going to be planting plants inside of there. Just trying to make use of it, y'all. Trying to make use. And we have a very special surprise coming this week that's going to be parked in that spot. Can't wait to take y'all for the first ride. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So, anyway. A little something special coming. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to dry just a hair. I'm going to cut some wood and... Uh, it's about time for Emmy to wake up from her nap. Look who just woke up from a nap, you guys. This little curly-headed ninny muggins is already running around. She wakes up from a nap strong, y'all. She wakes up and she's ready to go. Just give her a little bit of water, a snack, and she's wanting to go see those chickens already. Hi. Yeah, who's your favorite? Is the duck duck your favorite? She loves that duck duck. She comes out here in the morning and I always say, did you say good morning to your chickens? Did you go say good morning to the duck duck? She comes out here first thing and she comes over here and she says, hi, hi. Emmy, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. I'm sure Justin has already showed you the herbs um, that I have gotten today and I'm gonna go plant those. And Emmy is just having a good old time. Emmy, do you wanna show the lake lifers your shirt? Look at your shirt. Strong like mom. So we have matching shirts, you guys. This is um, part of the like spring, spring line that I came out with. And this year I decided to use the same slogan, but do a different design. And I decided to get like little toddler shirts that say strong like mom, because the moms say strong as a mother. So super cute. If you guys are interested, go down in the description. There's a link for all the merchandise, kind of like the shirts that I've been wearing the past couple vlogs. Forgot to mention, there are little blue ones and little pink one so she has a little pink one that says strong like mom and there are also um, little light blue ones if you have a toddler boy so cute idea for Mother's Day I know Mother's Day has already passed but cute idea in case you want to get um, your wife or you know your loved one or your mom um, a shirt and your little toddler shirt too so idea okay so these herbs over here this was Justin's idea um, that he originally had planned out when he made this driveway over here and when he told me that he wanted me to do herbs i was all about it y'all because i love fresh herbs and they're so easy to maintain i know a lot of people are like succulent people they love succulents in the house never been a huge succulent person because i've always killed them but for some reason herbs i herbs are so much easier to me you pretty much you can't overwater them you can't drown them um, they love sunshine. They do like a little bit of shade, but they're so easy to grow. Rosemary pretty much is drought tolerant, which is also perfect for Texas. That's going to be like our little herb garden over there. It's like a big birdhouse. It is a birdhouse. It's a big daggum birdhouse. I, I, that's all I know how to build. Okay, so next step we got going on here is we are finishing nails, I guess you want to call them. I think they're inch and a half. And I'm just putting this stained cedar this is fencing cedar so it's already stained ready to go uh, that's going to be on top of the flex seal i like it i mean it matches our house it does it literally does <laughs> okay this part is totally on the fly stephanie wanted to do like a diet a diamond is what she said up top okay a diamond this is what i pictured as a diamond you see that right there okay stick that in the crack I've got two pieces like that and then we're gonna take these boards they're going to attach that and it's gonna be like an additional roof this is a diff different angle this is 45 degree angle and then I'm gonna put a little piece of wood under here to support that I might actually put some flex seal up underneath that that's a good idea we're just kind of doing this on the fly put a good caulking here none of this is gonna show so it doesn't really matter That's looking pretty good. It's sturdy enough to put the roof on now. So that's what we're gonna do next. Somebody messy? Yay. 
Somebody is in a mess. Somebody got into my, some mud. Your hair don't got all wet. You got mud up on your grill. She's just dunking her head in mud. <laughs> Maybe we've asked this before. How many of y'all, because this is make us feel better. How many of y'all have kids that eat mud? I know I talked to Lojo the other day, another fellow uh, YouTuber, and uh, he said he, one of his kids eats mud. That made me feel better. I was like, thank, thank goodness there's another one out there. Oh, it always Woo! makes me feel bad when like the first thing somebody says is, you know, she probably has a nutrient deficiency. And I'm like... Well, trust me, OSG gives her all the nutrients. Yeah. It's just... She's just crazy. She just likes that mud. So, okay, last step here. We had a little chaos with Emmy, so I, I had to, to kind of finagle this thing i have wood glue on a 45 there's no miter cut here it's just glued to make up for that 45 that's what the diamond's gonna do i'm gonna set that on top here and i'm just gonna staple that in and we're gonna have a little extra root kind of like a little steeple action i bet it doesn't even sleep in here i'm gonna build i'm gonna spend all this time building it and i bet it just sleeps on the ground right next to the coop Duck Duck, because that's what she calls him. Duck Duck. That can be OSG's job, or your job. Uh, I mean, because this is all for Emmy. Alternating sides. There we go. She Roof died. on, Emmy! Yay, it's your little clubhouse. Roof on! Stick one of these right there. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, at look at that. I love when scrap wood just works out. It's gonna do. Yeah, you bet. There you go. Nicely done. There you go. Hindsight, I should have left it open on top, like more of a gap on top, so air could flow through these undersides. I built a duck house. You a duck did. Hut. You want to see my herbs that I are do. halfway done? Let's, let's go roll over there and see that. Okay. okay, so I ran out of potting soil because I thought that this one was going to get me some, but the store was actually closed. So got half of it done. So we're alternating um, oregano, rosemary, oregano, there's some thyme. I was going to do mint, but they didn't have any. But I feel like it's kind of a blessing in disguise because mint takes over everything. And if I plant it in there, then it's just going to be like a mint hoopla everywhere. So a mint hoopla. A mint hoopla. That sounds like a good drink. Ooh, I like what it's doing. I like what it's doing as well. I want to pull in with my boat and just get out and, oh, oregano, lime juice, lemon, whatever it is. Uh, what's the other one? Thyme. Thyme? It's, hitting it's lemon thyme, so it, it um, propels some mosquitoes. Some mosquitoes, and we're about to have a bunch. Rosemary, all, the, all of these basically are good uh, bu natural bug repellers, and you kind of crush them up, get the oils loose, and we like to put them in our coop. Um, mosquitoes really like to get in coops. They're a good safe place for them to hide out. And if you put this in there in their nesting boxes and just uh, in, around in the coop, uh, it helps keep some of those bugs out naturally. So you don't have to put any you know, chemicals or anything like that in there. So all natural, all fresh. And this was just gonna be a driveway, but instead add a little, little backbone to it. Yeah, put some dirt like in there we did some magnolia stuff right here some magnolia magic happened i think it's a good organic use of the space yeah i agree you didn't give him a hug yeah Aww. you love a duck duck we love mr duck duck you love mr duck 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 likes you too and that's Aww. the reason why mr duck duck is staying yeah i mean I'm sorry that's just heart melting Ow! give him some of your little snack over yeah. there mr duck duck would like that <laughs> Don't touch his nose. Don't touch his nose. Oh. oh. You want to invite him into the house, Emmy? See if he likes his house. There you go. Okay, this is Ebenezer's new home. There you go. Getting used to it already. You no longer have to sleep on the ground, my friend. You can choose to if you'd like, but I'd say he's pretty happy. Okay, y'all, last step. I put in some linoleum, you know, just add a little, little fake flooring in there. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible. We're gonna put some little nesting straw in here and that's gonna be a perfect house for, for two ducks. I just need to build a little ramp. So we'll put that in there tonight and we'll see how it goes. And if you wanna see if the duck nestles into it or not, make sure to stay tuned. Subscribe right here to the channel. We're gonna sign it off for the day. And this little one just got a bath because she had a mouthful of mud. 
Ooh, we had to get two dirty. outfit changes here. It's just another day at the treehouse, y'all. So thank you for watching today. Um, go over to our Instagram page, link down below, if you want to drop us a little comment. We'll see you soon, right back here at the treehouse. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>